Leo, hi, it's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 25th to the 31st of December 2023. Merry Christmas to every one of you out there. I hope you have a very um, enjoyable day, whether it's getting together with friends and family, but um, Yes, hopefully you'll enjoy the day. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. So Leo, you get the balsamic moon, a time for healing. Always, everybody needs to heal at some stage. It's a big deal to say, I need some space. But look at you go, new moon in Taurus, prosperity lies ahead. So as long as you're not getting yourself into some sort of burnout stage, especially this week of Christmas, but at the same time, this prosperity lies ahead. Make sure that you're able to take time for yourself so that you can actually enjoy whatever this prosperity is bringing in. So love that, Leo. So 25th to the 31st of December, 2023. Clear messages from Spirit, please, for Leo. Overall, Five of Swords. Feeling like you are in a bit of a battle at the moment, whether you stay and fight or whether you walk away, either way is your victory. But I feel like it, it does feel at times that you are banging your head against a bit of a brick wall here. And this may be your exact time to step back and take that time to heal, heal those wounds. Um, because around the corner is prosperity. Monday, Four of Cups, very focused on one particular cup here, quite stubborn, quite uh, blinkered. This is it, blinkered vision here. It is just saying to shift that focus around, see what else is on offer. I always say it doesn't mean you have to take them, but at least knowing that there are other options around you here. Tuesday, Nine of Cups, emotional happiness that is right there at your fingertips. This may be the prosperity that is lying ahead. This may be all you're hoping for, wanting here around this emotional happiness. It's right there for the taking. Wednesday, Leo, Ace of Swords, I do always say, clear the crap out from the past, have that declutter moment, but it gives you all the clarity needed to have this whole fresh new start as we enter into a new year as well, but um, this whole new honest open beginning, new chapter, and making sure you're able to see very clearly where this chapter is taking you. And having that focus and seeing clearly three of wands on Thursday, you know, seeing a bigger picture, seeing a situation for what it really is, seeing someone for who they really are. And sometimes it's in a negative way and sometimes it's in a positive way. But either way, it's that wake up moment. It is the eyes are open, that clarity is lying ahead here and you are able to see very clearly either way. Into Friday, the magician, manifestation, keeping it real, but creating the magic here, putting the pieces together. You know what you want, who you want, where you want to be. Prosperity lies ahead, and this is manifesting this to come your way. But you do have to meet it as well and keep that manifesting. Keep it real um, rather than getting too far ahead and it's not coming into anything. So this is keeping that real creating the magic, creating the process, especially to bring that prosperity in. Leo, into Saturday, you have transition, may have connection to a Scorpio. Always say being able to close one chapter off, turn the page and begin a new chapter. And this may be closing 2023 off, ready for 2024. Some of you, this may be putting the whole book back on the shelf and selecting a whole different book as 2024 starts to come into place. And Sunday, King of Wands, love this. You know what you want, who you want, where you want to be. It is about getting it out there very clearly what your intentions are. This is almost to a um, resolution stage, New Year's resolution. You're very clear 
on what prosperity is to you and what that is going to bring and making sure that this new chapter gets off to a very solid clear start love it though leo but let's clarify everything starting with this five of swords overall possibly why you need this time for healing because it does feel like you're continuously pushing uphill as they say five of swords three of swords wow eight of swords ten of cups some sort of third party energy that is interfering and meddling and causing a lot of heartbreak but also causing this feeling of not getting anywhere that this roadblock is just um it gets too built up for you to break through and get a i'm going to say to get a, a good go at something here now this eight of swords is about finding other ways around things taking action to do so legally and morally i always say but being able to detour derail and come back onto your path or it may actually lead you onto a completely different path but ultimately this is about rather than continuously butting heads or banging that head against that brick wall this is about finding the other ways around things and emotional happiness and support around you being aware of that when you do feel like you're kind of stuck in a rut right there wow okay monday four of cups this may be what's taking all your time and your focus here seven of pentacles justice princess of pentacles you are putting the hard work in um, to get your sweet justice to get your prosperity you may have connection to a libra there is an offer coming in here and this may be what that focus needs to shift around and see what some of these other options and choices are here but this offer if it's a legal document i do always say read the fine print but um, it's also being aware of an offer that may seem too good to be true when it is coming up with that sweet justice but at the same time this sweet justice a favorable outcome could be what this prosperity is it may be a financial outcome from some sort of legal battle um, it doesn't have to be but whatever this is justice and prosperity brilliant so tuesday nine of cups you get the seven of cups three of cups eight of wands always these options we've just come off that four of cups that we're mentioning there not taking the first one that looks good or those repeat patterns this is about taking a step back and digging deep to see what some of these other options actually are going into this i feel like this prosperity is one in one of these other cups here but either way it's giving you something to celebrate it's um, maybe an unexpected favorable outcome but um, you are celebrating as long as the communication is open and clear with any sort of partnership here you're both on the same page but ultimately i do feel like there's another option here that is bringing in that prosperity love it ace of swords leo knight of cups the lovers king of pentacles wow your prosperity it just may be when it comes to love soulmate twin flames somebody significance here offering love you're offering love to someone they're offering love to you it may be an existing relationship or it may be somebody extremely brand new but i feel like this love here and there is love is um happening quite quickly and it could be what your prosperity actually is as we mentioned this whole fresh new start you may be um able to see somebody in a very favorable way and um, things are happening very very quickly three of wands leo four of wands love this ace of swords four of swords we've just come off the ace of swords and we're also going to look at the balance here with the two fours either side of this whole fresh new chapter taking time for healing you've got that with the balsamic moon but ultimately seeing the bigger picture allowing yourself to see the bigger picture and see the stability the commitment that is around you here and it's off this love whether you know it or not at this stage the magus friday leo queen of wands ten of wands eight of cups 
Yeah, I feel like you've been manifesting a way to um, be able to release this burden that you've been doing this on your own or you've had to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders. Possibly somebody's coming on board now, problem shared, problem halved. There is this emotional detachment from this burden that you have been carrying and you've been manifesting a way to be rid of that and to be able to focus on what you want, who you want and where you want to be. And this whole manifestation, as we mentioned, as long as it's kept real, um, this whole prosperity is heading your way. Transition, Saturday, Leo. The Hierophant, the Fool, Nine of Swords. May have connection to a Taurus, but I feel like there is some peer pressure, <laughs> peer pressure in my shuffling. It's two there, we'll keep those. Um, some peer pressure that is being put on you to do things in a certain way that maybe um, this chapter that is ready to be closed off. You're following your heart, you're following your beliefs, you're not getting caught up in all those sleepless nights and the stress that comes from this peer pressure. It could be an ultimatum that's being put towards you here that's causing a bit of tension, but at the same time, you've got the fool here where you are ready to take a leap of faith towards something new. And I feel again, it's coming around to one of these other options that you previously haven't looked at. And in that option is this prosperity that lies ahead. And you finish with the King of Wands. So these two flew out. Temperance, Two of Wands and the Empress. May have connection to Sagittarius here. Yes, you know what you want, who you want, where you want to be. And now it's about just going with the flow to achieve these goals and these dreams here. Knowing you've got to keep moving towards them, but at a steady pace. But ultimately, your gut instincts, your intuition, it's telling you what your steady flow is, rather than forcing the issue or pushing pushing too hard to, towards something or someone. Um, but this is about making sure that that flow of energy is maintained at a manageable pace and ultimately leads you to your prosperity. So Leo, the universe says, Eight of Cups, Six of Wands, Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take. I do always say if you're doing all the giving, someone else is doing all the taking. So this is about equal share. There is this partnership involved here. Just going to pause there. Oh, thought I had. Sorry. Um, oh, stop. <laughs> Sorry. Um, there is this partnership here, and it may be this one around love, equal give and take as well with that. But ultimately, there is some sort of emotional detachment that does lead to your victory. Love that. Right, Leo, let's finish with Star Temple Oracle. That way, you get number 28, the Seven Sisters Circle sisterhood enriches my life this is like the circle of friends right here love that so leo star words connection collective collaboration together everyone achieves more true sisterhood deepens and magnifies both personal and collective sacred assignments and success Competition and comparison create disharmony. Surround yourself with supportive sisters so you can celebrate your achievements together. Like-minded friendships enrich your life with mutual encouragement and connection. Our divine feminine lineage of sisterhood links back to the priestesses, healers and oracles of the ancient temples scattered all over our Earth Mother. United in sisterhood, we nurture, nourish, and heal both the earth and each other. Unified, we create compassion, peace, and reconciliation. So, those sisters, um, you know, and it's feminine energy. It doesn't mean it has to be literally sisters, but this energy around you. Like-minded people are grouped around you as well. 
So Leo, that is what I have for the week. Merry Christmas to you all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.